Right. What we've got here is, uh, and I will zoom in <laughs> for those of you that are pulling your screens closer and wanting to see what on earth is going on there. I, I will zoom in. Um, this is, is part of a, a much larger uh, document in terms of strategy. Uh, but, I, you know, if, if we're talking about what can you do this year to make your plans happen this year, then we don't need a 15-year strategy and all the paraphernalia that goes with it. So um, this is a zoomed-in section of what we call a business destination map. So let's call this a condensed <laughs> destination map. Okay, and here comes the zooming. So we, we basically start off with, okay, I'm not going to zoom in just yet. Let me quickly give you an overview. So we start off with these blue blocks over here where we make sure you do have a purpose, a vision, and a goal. And then we go look at the fruits of the tree, and I'll explain what that is shortly, but they basically make that goal happen. So my goal is linked to a vision, the vision is linked to a purpose, and the fruits of the tree, hopefully you can see that that is a tree there, uh, makes that goal happen. But to make the fruits of the tree practical and, and have things to do to make them happen, um, we need wheels of our bus and if you, if you can just use your imagination you can see this is a bus with wheels and that's the things that give traction to the fruits of the tree they make it happen so the fruits is if i can achieve that if i can pluck that fruit then i will have achieved my goal the wheels of the bus are what i need to do to make that fruit to get the flower to bloom and the fruits to eventually come off the tree and then below that, this big giant table is granular activities and results. And if I compare this now to other methodologies, the fruits of the tree are going to be a balanced scorecard to answer MJ's question. And I'll go into a little bit of depth around that. And the um, you may be familiar with OKRs. In terms of OKRs, the fruits of the tree are your conditions of success. And the wheels of the bus are your objectives or the O of OKRs. And this table at the bottom is the KR or the key results of OKRs. So let's now make this practical. So that's a, a mouthful. Let's make it practical. So we're, we're pretending to be a toy manufacturer. And the purpose of this toy manufacturer is to bring joy to children. Their vision is to be the leading toy manufacturer in Europe. And for this year, in furtherance of that vision, they want to enter the French market. They want to enter France. So they're basically saying that uh, we don't have a presence there. How can we be a leader in Europe if we don't have a presence in France? So very logical goal for the year. Your goal is going to make the vision maybe not happen this year, but it's a step towards your vision. So we then go look at the fruits of the tree. Now, the fruits of the tree or the the balanced scorecard perspective is basically looking at this goal from six aspects. So we make sure we've got a holistic view of the goal. And from these six aspects, how do I know that I will have achieved my goal? So to enter the French market, let's start down here at the bottom left with governance and finance focus. Uh, this is, by the way, the expanded balanced scorecard. A lot of you may know the balanced scorecard is having four aspects to it, and that was expanded to have six aspects, and so we've got six, six aspects here. So for governance and finance, I need to comply to the local legislation, to French legislation, and I need to achieve my profit margin. It doesn't help we're going to France, and we uh, <laughs> ran at a loss, so we want to achieve our profit margin. So that'll be a successful entry into the French market. And how am I going to measure that? I've got two KPIs. I'm going to have a compliance score and I'm going to have a gross profit. And what good looks like is that my compliance score will be 80% and my gross profit will be 16%. Now, KPI always has a range. Um, it's red if it's in a certain place and it's green if it's in a certain place. So this is describing when the KPI is going to be green is if I achieve that. Then we go on to internal focus. I need to decrease the cost of production. The French market has tight margins. So for me to achieve my target profits, I'm going to need to um, digitize 
and uh, automate in order to decrease the cost of production. And there are KPIs associated with that. Then in terms of environment and community, I've got to establish friend CSI and I need to have occupancy in a five-star green rated building. And again, I'm going to have some KPIs that tell me I'm on track. Then in terms of innovation and growth, we are going to establish 3D prototyping and grow group revenue. And I'll know that my 3D prototyping is working if 100% of my prototypes are done on 3D printers. And I have added 5% to my group revenue will tell me that that um, is achieved. Then for staff and team, we want to employ a diverse uh, staff complement and make sure that that staff complement is engaged. So KPIs that are going to show that that's happened. And lastly, increase customer satisfaction. So there's the fruits of the tree. Now, I'm sure you all agree that if we do those things, by the end of the year, if we can make all those KPIs green, we will be able to say that we have achieved our goal. We have successfully entered the French market. And that's basically how we now go through any business. Moving on from that to our lovely bus. Uh, this is literally where the rubber hits the road. So what we, we're, we're saying by that is it's where action happens. It's where we get traction. So to make those fruits of the tree or conditions of success or balanced scorecard view, to make that a reality, to make those KPIs which will measure it green, these are the things I need to do. So the wheels of the bus are the objectives of OKRs, the things I need to do. I need to digitize. So there will be a project around digitization. I need to create French product mix. So there's going to be a, a project around creating a French product mix. Integrate 3D into our research and development process. Set up a French office. Emulate a successful toy maker. Design a TSI program. Yeah, I've left the blank wheel of the bus just to show that you don't have to populate all the wheels, but you may also have more wheels. Maybe you've got a 16 wheeler bus. Um, but we generally aim to have about eight uh, wheels on, on our bus. And the eighth wheel is always compliance. We, we don't negotiate with our clients. It's compliant. <laughs> We've got to make sure that we are compliant wherever we are operating. And that then takes us to the things that we need to do, the key results, in other words, in terms of OKRs. And each wheel of the bus um, has got its set of plans over time. So left to right, we're moving through time. And top to bottom is our different wheels of the bus. And within each of these blocks, what we see is an activity and a result. So as we all know, you can be active, but have no outcome. So I can move paper from one pile to another. <laughs> and that may be active, and I can do that the whole day. But what is the intended outcome of moving the paper from one pile to another? Is there an action in doing that? And perhaps the action is that I will pay an invoice. So I pick up the invoice, I pay it and I put it down in the next file. Okay, pile. So now I have a result or an outcome for my activity. So we always make sure every activity has an expected outcome. And if you are now doing those activities with intended outcomes, what you're doing is making these wheels turn. That's gonna get us up this hill. And if we get to the top of the hill, we will have achieved our goal. And all of these KPIs of the fruits of the tree are going to be green. And we therefore know from all perspectives, all aspects of our business, we have successfully achieved that goal.